If you've been in the DevOps world for any time now, then you've probably heard the term webhook come up more than once. And there's good reason for that. Webhooks are becoming the number one way for APIs to communicate events to each other. They're simply an HTTP message sent from one server to another to signify an event. And these events are fully customizable and they can communicate any type of information. Usually it's something like a device going offline or a CPU threshold being reached. But again, the sky is the limit. Anyways, the best way to learn about webhooks is to actually create one of your own. So let's go ahead and program a webhook in Python. All right, so we're in Visual Studio Code here, and the first thing we want to do is import our libraries. So I'm going to import requests and JSON. JSON is going to be used for formatting our payload, and requests is going to be used for sending the HTTP request. The next thing we're going to want to do is define a webhook URL, and this webhook URL is going to be the destination URL that we send our webhook to. So I'm going to use a website called webhook.site and this is the perfect place to go if you want to generate webhooks. I'm going to go ahead and copy this into my clipboard and I'm going to paste that in here and I'm going to assign this to a variable. So let's just call it webhook underscore URL. So we have webhook URL and it's assigned to this URL. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in a bit of data here and basically it just needs to be formatted in a JSON format. So I have two pieces of data here. I have a name and then a channel URL. So DevOps Journey is the name and then the URL to my YouTube channel. So when you're doing this on your own, feel free to put in any data and just mess around with it to experiment. The next thing we're going to do is generate the request. So I'm going to create a request object. So we'll do r equals requests dot post. And then we're going to have our parameters within the post. So basically request is just doing an HTTP request and it's using the post method. Now, if you're familiar with HTTP, you should understand that there's post methods and there's get methods. Post is for sending information. So we're sending information, so we're gonna use the post message. So let's go ahead and specify the parameters of this post. The first parameter is the URL. So I'm gonna grab this webhook URL and paste it in there. And then I'm gonna specify the data. So I'm gonna go data equals, and then I'm gonna do json.dump, and then data. So basically it's taking this data right here, and then it's formatting it in JSON, and then it's sending that data in the request. Next thing I'm gonna do is set some HTTP headers. I'm actually just gonna set one, and it's gonna be the content type, and I'm gonna set the content type to JSON. And it's just headers, and then I'm specifying the header right there. So content type is application slash JSON. So this is actually enough to get this working. Let's go ahead and run our script. And we get an error, and that's because it's actually supposed to be JSON dumps. So let's go ahead and correct that and rerun our code. It looks like that completed. Let's go ahead and check our webhook website. And we can see that the webhook was created. So there it is, DevOps Journey and the channel URL. Let's go ahead and mess with the data here. So I'll just say Brad, and then I'll change this to test URL. And then let's go ahead and resend it. And you can see that it popped right up at 4.50 PM. And there it is, that's my new data. So that's how easy it is to send a webhook to a webhook server. Now, just a reminder, there are two parts to the webhook. There's the webhook sender and then the webhook receiver. So in my next video, I'll show you how you can make a quick and easy Python application to receive webhooks. So I hope you'll join me in that one. I'll make sure to post the link in this video. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like below or subscribe to the channel and check out my other content. Anyways, I hope to see everyone in the next video.